do want to touch on the EA Access, which is how I'm playing the game right now. Okay. So okay. EA Access, it's a subscription service, kind of like, I guess you could say it's similar to PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live Gold, where you pay like a monthly or yearly fee and you get some free games and things like that. This right. works completely different from those. Obviously, play PlayStation Plus, Xbox Live Gold, if you want to play online, you'll need those. You know, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Unless you're playing, like, a free-to-play MMO, I think you could do those on, like, PS4 without gold or whatever. Or plus, I guess. <laughs> but um, in this, you get what's called the Vault. And it's... Whenever you have the Vault, you, you have every game that's in the vault, like, that you can download right on your console. Uh, you can also do it on PC as well. You know, it's available on PC. But, that's why uh, I asked, because I have, I have the Origin thing, and I was like, oh, it says, like, free with uh, Origin Access. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was curious about what it was. Right, right. So in the vault, you know, you have a variety. It's all EA games, I do have to point out. You're not getting anything that's not EA. So if you hate EA games, like, if you don't like any EA games... Maybe this is a terrible service for you. But uh, Titanfall 2 happens to be an EA game. And uh, you, they recently came out with both that and Battlefield 1 on into the EA Vault Access. They just added them, like, I don't know, like maybe a month or so ago. And, uh, you know, th these are pretty recent games. I mean, they came out less than a year ago. So that's pretty impressive that you can... Uh, sign up for this e access for I think it's like either five dollars a month or thirty dollars a year, and that you have access to games like that right off the bat. But well, shit, how many games are on it? Like uh, from what I've seen, thirty dollars a year is like pretty, pretty fucking worth it. Oh yeah, um, yeah. There's like fifty games that you can play on the vault right now. I think uh, for both Xbox One and Xbox 360. And unlike that Xbox Play Pass, that new thing that they announced, it's mostly Xbox One games. Like, that mm -hmm. Play Pass is, is a cool idea, but it's like 70% Xbox 360 backwards compatible games. You know, there's not, a, there's not a whole lot of Xbox One titles on that, but this is the opposite. Like, it's almost... I, I'd say it's probably in the other skew. Like, it's 70% Xbox One games that you'll get. Um, like I said, you get Titanfall 2, Battlefield 1... You get, like, the new uh, Dragon Age game, Inquisition. Uh, you have, like... I, I think Unravel's in there, like, Need for Speed, etc., mm -hmm. etc. Yeah, you get yeah you got the newest Need for Speed game, uh, Plans vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare 2. That's another good uh, multiplayer shooter. You get all the Mass Effect. I played Effect. that. I played that. That was pretty good. Yeah, you get all the Mass Effect and Mirror's Edge games, uh, UFC 2. If you're not a huge sports guy, but you like to play some sports games... But you don't want to have to, like, buy, like, a $20 copy of, like, say, Madden 17. Because, you know, you don't necessarily need the newest version of the game. You get all those sports games, too, with uh, EA Access as well. They just got, um, like, FIFA 17 and Madden 17 and all that. So, if you don't have mm -hmm. to play the absolute newest versions, and you just want to maybe play a few uh, rounds with a friend or something like that, you know, that that's, that's a great way to do it. You don't have to buy, like, a whole bunch of games from GameStop or something like that just to get a quick sports fix. So right. so that it's really cool. You know, I definitely recommend checking that out. I mean, if nothing else, you just pay like the five bucks a month. You can easily beat like Titanfall 2 and Battlefield 1 in that with that five bucks. It's almost like a rental, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, but I personally, I whenever I got it, I got like a deal off of CDKeys.com. And they had 25% off the year subscription, so I paid like $22 for it. So that's, that was pretty worth it. That's for the year? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Good stuff, man. Yeah. So uh, I definitely recommend It's probably one of the most underrated values. Like I said, unless you hate EA, of course. It, they do have it on PC as well. The PC side looks a little bit differently because you're not going to get like as many sports games. I think they only have FIFA on PC. They don't have the other ones. But you do get like more of the Sims and strategy type games. If you're like into Sim City or The Sims 4, um, you're gonna get those kinds of games on PC. Um, it actually does have some non EA games on there as well. I think they have like the the Trine games and um, Oxen Free and a few others that aren't EA games that are part of the PC one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
I have I have it on PC. I have it on PC. Uh, and the reason I got it on PC. Uh, hello. You ever heard of Green Man Gaming? Oh wait, no. You so you have you have Origin Access on PC? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh well, how much? How come you're acting like you didn't know what I was talking about? No, I have or I have the I have the thing. I, oh, I have oh, Origin. the Origin program. Oh, okay, I got you. right. But I, but I, have you ever heard of a a website called Green Man Gaming? Oh yeah, I'm very familiar with Green Man Gaming. I used to buy a lot. So, of so that, that's why that's why I have Origin because I bought a Titanfall Two when it first came out when it was still sixty. I got it for like forty four dollars, and then uh, you put the you know you put the code into the Origin thing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so that's why I downloaded Origin. I, I, that's why how I know the Origin thing, et cetera, et cetera. I, I know about the Origin access because I always like I, I scroll down, like you know the del, the the cells, et cetera, et cetera. Like this is free with Origin access, but like I, I don't have Origin access. Like I just have the uh, the app basically. Oh, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Um, okay, that's cool. I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you got an Xbox One or a decent gaming PC, I definitely recommend checking it out. Unfortunately, it's not on PS4, but you know, it, it's I guess one thing that I guess Xbox has that PlayStation doesn't. You know, I mean, there's got to be like they, they have to have like various things like that, you know, to kind of like compete. Right, right, right. Subscribe to the DPN me on the iTunes. Do now. Get to the chopper. Get cookie down now!